Massachusetts. I invite the brethren to stand up. Let us open up the Bible in Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43, verse 18. 18 and so do not remember of, of former things nor consider the things of old behold I will do a new thing now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Lord, speak to our hearts, because you have already spoken through the worship, but we plead, Lord, that you continue to speak to us through your word. In the name of Jesus, amen. The church may be seated, my beloved brethren. The Lord has already op op operated in a mighty way through the praises, because the praises, they bring something that is new for our souls. Because when we sing, we are expressing to the Lord a gratitude of a redeemed soul. That's why we praise the name of the Lord, because our soul has been redeemed by the Lord. And that's why we are here, praising the name of the Lord. And the Lord is so good that when the church praises the Lord, the angels, they are walking among us. They are operating here in each heart. Sometimes you may not be seeing it, but the Lord is operating still. And you see this when you leave this place, right? What the Lord has done. Because when we arrive here, sometimes we enter here overloaded, hungry, thirsty, anxious. But when we come here, and we begin to praise the name of the Lord. It brings us a levity. We even forget that we live in this world. Because this is just a little rehearsal of what is going to be in eternity. Where we are going to be eternally in front of the throne, praising the Lord. If here is already good to praise the name of the Lord, can you imagine there? Glory to God. We're not going to have this problem of a brother coming and, hey, I'm on 95, the traffic is bad, and get here already stressed out. We're gonna, not going to have this. We're going to have streets of gold there, but no traffic. Sometimes we compare America with Brazil. In 95, we have five lanes. But the word says that we cannot compare. We cannot compare what the Lord has already prepared for us in eternity. There's no comparison. 
in the ward tonight it is said by the prophet Isaiah a messianic prophet and almost all the, his prophecies he pointed they pointed to Jesus symbolically speak, he used expressions that later on would show the it would illustrate Jesus so the theme of this chapter that we have just read says only God rescues Israel and it begins by saying that the Lord that raised you that gave you shelter that redeemed you and that when you go through the waters I will be with you and when you go through the river they will not immerse get immersed they are not going to drown so we have a text bringing a prophecy of consolation to God's people and later on here as where we read it says do not remember of former things nor consider the things of old right my brethren the Lord has called us to live every day a new experience with Him. The old experiences that brought us up unto this place. But we cannot cling to the old things. Hey. Uh, remember the old times I used to go to the early dawn service back then I used to fast for 24 hours hey in the old times I always went to church it was I had no bad mood being tired or not I always went to church so the word says don't remember of the former things because we have to live every day a new experience with the Lord right so Apostle Paul says who doesn't is in Christ is a new creature oh, the old things are past everything is made new so today if we seek the Lord right if we if we're here on a church it is to seek new things N and not about the service that was yesterday no the holy supper was wonderful on thursday yes it was a wonderful blessing but will i be living off of only that service no i will go Saturday to the church. Oh, go Sunday night. And somebody might ask, "Hey, but it's only on your church where you receive the blessing from the Lord." So now the blessing of the Lord is conditioned to you being on the church. Yes or not? No? Are you sure? <laughs> so, the church is fundamental that we come here because, because when the Lord Jesus He died right 
It was even said here that the, the structures of his bones, they have not been broken, which is the church, right? It, it is the church where we go to receive from the Lord a portion from the Lord, uh, our daily portion, right? So you may live without the blessing of the Lord. In Proverbs, it says the following from the bird the, that goes away from its nest. Uh, the bird that wanders away from its nest. It, it makes a comparison in Proverbs because the nest is a place where it was generated. It was a safe place, a secure place. So that's why the Lord says, do not remember of the, the former things and don't consider the old things. We should not be considered the old things, right? But we need to look to our target, which is the Lord Jesus, right? Paul says, not that I have already reached, but I continue following, going toward towards the sovereign vocation, leaving the things that I leave behind, but proceed moving forward. We cannot leave off of... Uh, bitterness from the past of or or old things because the Lord has called us for a new life in his presence and I, and I will do a new thing behold I will do a new thing now it shall spring forth my brethren when Jesus when he resurrected Mary the Magdalene, she went to the garden. She was after the body of Jesus. And she was calling many times. Oh, she was crying a lot for the loss of that Jesus that was, it was uh, a wanderer that wore worn clothing but she cried because she began to love that Jesus that she knew uh, Jesus didn't even have a place to rest but she knew that man and when she loses then she goes there and begins to cry. And the angel came to her and said, Why do you cry? And soon after, Jesus presented himself to her. And Jesus asked her, Why do you cry? This way, woman. Why do you cry? And she answered, No, I'm crying because they took the body of the one that I loved. But but she she had her mind she, her mind was still uh, connected to that old Jesus linked to that old Jesus that she had met of the old things but now she needed a new experience she needed to know a new Jesus that was risen from the dead a Jesus that, that died but resurrected on the third day and she didn't recognize this Jesus because she 
was still remembering the things of the past. Of that Jesus that l dressed up like a beggar. This wanderer. And she began to have a dialogue with that man. And she thought that she, he was the keeper of the place. Because her mind was still attached to the past. Living the things of the past. Wasn't that wonderful? It was. Everything that Jesus performed, wasn't it wonderful? was, but Jesus is alive, but He wants to reveal Himself now. He wants to reveal to you now. Many people are living of, of uh, Jesus, of the past, they are crying, lamenting, without any hope. And the Lord, so the Lord said the following, he called that woman, Mary. When Jesus called her, she recognized him. Because man only recognizes Jesus, that revealed Jesus when he calls you. When Jesus called you, you recognized that he was Jesus. Because in the past, we used to live off of that old Jesus. But one day, Jesus called man or woman, come into my presence. He called you by your name. He called me by my name. Why? Because we were crying. Our soul was anguished, crying. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. My brethren, Jesus is a revelation. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the love of God revealed in Him. But who is Jesus? Jesus is a revelation. When Saul from Tarsus was on his way to Damascus and he was had instruction to go and persecute and whip the Christians, what happened to him? He heard the voice of the Lord. And what did he see? Did he see Jesus? Did he? Did he see Jesus? Did? Did he? No. He saw a light. There, there will be a light. He didn't see Jesus. He heard a voice, the voice of the Lord. We heard, my brethren, it is a great mystery. It is a great mystery that Jesus would reveal himself to us. Not that Jesus from the past, but the historic, not the historic Jesus, but the Jesus that is alive. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall we not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And Jesus, my brethren, my beloved, Jesus is this river that is today flowing at our disposal. He, this is the river that was 
that was opened up in this in this desert which is the world the world is a desert where my brethren then go and research and find out what a desert is what is a desert then you go later and research about it but Jesus is a river that flows in the middle of this desert to quench our thirst in difficult moments to refresh our soul it's Jesus blessed be the name of the Lord I will even make a road in the wilderness and the and rivers in the desert who is the path? Jesus Look, there is nothing worse I never walked. I don't think that there is anything worse than walking in the desert. You get lost. Because the desert, it, it's volatile. One time, the dunes, they are here. And then there comes a wind and, and brings the dunes, the dunes to another place. And you lose a reference. There's no landmark. Hey, where was that dune that was here? I was walking. This dune was my landmark. Now it moved its place, and the world is like that, my brethren. The world is volatile. One day is one thing, every day is another thing. Another thing comes up, and man. Man uh, uh, no longer has a reference. The world has no reference. <laughs> but Jesus is the path in the middle of this desert. The church walks walks safe because it knows that it is on it on the right path. Not in only the path, but Jesus is the light on this path. And Jesus is the river that is on this path, right? Blessed be the name of the Lord, right? My brethren, this is a mystery. It's a mystery that we are in the presence of the Lord. The Lord has given a vision. And he, uh, I saw that there was uh, an, uh, this altar, there was a river. A flu from the pulpit with waters that were very crystal clear and we we came to the church very tired and we were invited to drink the drink the water from this river and the Lord also showed a man a man that has accumulated treasures but he he has forgotten what he has accumulated but today he comes here and he's finding himself the Lord is speaking with you take possession of this treasure that is already in your heart make use of this because the Lord wants to use you God wants to make you into a valiant uh, soldier don't hide this treasure but the key was given to you tonight in order for you to open up your heart and allow this treasure to manifest on the midst of the church sometimes we have a treasure and we hide it for ourselves but the Lord wants it to be manifested because it will be a benefit to the church blessed be the name of the Lord my brethren may God complete his word in our hearts. We know that the Lord spoke much more to
to your heart. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us praise the name of the Lord. by the church to stand up and Jesus said I am the way the 
truth and the life. Nobody can come to the Father but through me. My brethren, this path that has been open you know, on the desert will take us to eternity. Will bring us to the Father, right? To the house of the Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we praise your name. We give you praises porque, because today we live in your presence, Father, knowing that you are the God has zeal, has zeal for us. God has revealed to our hearts, has spoken to us, has manifested among your church, and blessed be your name, Lord, because your church lives moments of joy and of ex wonderful experiences in your presence. And we know that this celebration will never end, will continue on eternity. That's why we praise you and give you praises in the name of Jesus. The church may be seated. I would like to greet the whole church with the peace of the Lord, reminding the brethren of the service tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning, which is the Sunday school. In fact, it's a service, but it is a Sunday school in which we can there learn more from the Word. And also reminding of the service of 7.30 p.m., which is an evangelistic service. If for any, by any chance you still need a prayer, remain in the place where you are, and we will be going towards you.